Whoa, I'm really pleasantly surprised. Hi, I'm Haley for Classical ESL, and I'm here with another update about teaching on Cambly. So as you may know if you've seen my previous video, I was recently accepted to the Cambly platform. For some reason, I thought it would be difficult to attract students on Cambly, but I guess I was mistaken? Or maybe this is just beginner's luck. Either way, I signed up for a priority hour from 3 to 4 p.m. European Central Time. So this I'm in the GMT plus one time zone. So that's like Paris time zone. And I had three calls from three different students lasting a total of 73 minutes. I spoke with an adult in Canada, a university student in China, and an eight-year-old kid in India. It wasn't difficult or stressful at all. I actually had a great time. Two of the learners wanted to use the standard Cambly lesson plans, and the university student just wanted to do some free talk. So I had a good introduction to how lessons can go on the platform, just in the short time of testing it out. So here's what I noticed from my first experience. Observation one, the platform gives you a warning just before the lesson ends, and then the screen cuts off and goes black. This is really different from what I've experienced on VIP Kid and italki. On those other platforms, as a teacher, you have time to extend for just a minute to finish your goodbye or to let the student finish their sentence. But at Cambly, it's not like that at all. It's much more automated and the platform decides when the time is up, not the teacher. So that's just something to be aware of if you're switching to Cambly from another platform like italki or VIP Kid or any of the other Chinese teaching companies. Observation two. You might have multiple calls coming in at the same time. Then you can kind of glance down the list of names and choose one. Given the choice, I would probably take a female student over a male student. I do teach a lot of men on italki and I, there's nothing wrong with them. I just kind of vibe better with ladies and I feel a little bit more relaxed. Observation three. I couldn't really tell if the students were calling me in particular or if they were just putting out a call for any random teacher. So after I filmed this original video, I got some more information about how bookings work on the student side. Basically, students aren't choosing tutors at random. They're selecting which tutor they want to call. However, if you are scheduled for a priority hour, that moves your profile up to the top of the list, so that increases the chances that a student will see you and want to book you. New tutors do not have a rating yet, so students might be taking a chance to choose a new tutor but they can also see your profile, your video, and all of your qualifications that you list. So giving students a lot of reasons to choose you is a great way to attract students when you're new on Cambly. Observation four. The lesson plans were pretty easy to use. However, in my very first class, I logged in and started talking to the student, and it quickly became clear that the lesson he wanted was not the lesson that was preloaded in the classroom. So I had to scramble a little bit and try and click around on the screen and figure out how to change to a different lesson while still engaging the student with conversation so his time wasn't wasted. So that was a little bit stressful, but it was good that I got that out of the way in my very first class. And so I figured out how to do it. I got through it and I think the student was still pleased with their experience and there was no time lost. I actually don't remember how I changed the lessons. It was all a bit of a blur, so I need to take a closer look at the Cambly training materials and see if I missed something. Observation five, Cambly seems so much more fast paced than any other online or brick and mortar teaching job that I've ever had. There was literally no time in between calls for me to take a sip of my drink, let alone get up to go to the bathroom. I know that in Cambly's training materials, their policy says that it's perfectly fine to drink non-alcoholic beverages during class but I've always avoided doing so because I think it makes it seem that I'm not fully focused on the student from the student's perspective. If I wanna keep teaching on Cambly and doing priority hours, I'm gonna to have to break myself of that habit and start drinking something in class, otherwise I'm gonna end up severely parched. So here are my tips for other teachers who are preparing for a first attempt at teaching on Cambly. Number one, sign up for priority hours. It seems a little bit intimidating to say that you'll take any call that comes in, but I think this is the best way to attract new students. I also wanted to jump in and say that it seems like Saturday and Sunday are the busiest times on Cambly. Sometimes they offer bonuses or they offer guaranteed pay for 30 minutes of every hour instead of just 15 minutes of every hour to encourage more tutors to sign up for those priority hours on the weekends. Number two, bring a glass of water or something 
in case you get a lot of back-to-back -back calls and you don't get a chance to get up from your desk, highly recommend a drink. Number three, just relax and know that whatever lesson you get thrown into, you're gonna be able to jump right in and talk to your student. It's not gonna be complicated and you're just gonna need to follow the directions on the screen. It's really easy. I was worried that I was gonna feel a little bit lost heading into a curriculum that I hadn't had time to prepare for, but really, it was easy and great, and I felt like everything was so intuitive that I just naturally was able to follow along with what was there. So the takeaway for this video is that I'm really excited about teaching on Cambly. I'm even more excited now that I've tried it out than I was when I first got the acceptance email. I will, of course, continue to teach on italki because I can make more money on italki and I like controlling the curriculum. But Cambly is going to be a great way for me to supplement my teaching schedule. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so glad that I stuck it out and waited for that acceptance to email to come because I think this is going to be a really good thing for me. If you're interested in hearing more about my life as an italki and Cambly teacher, subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing some regular updates. And I also have some other videos reviewing other teaching platforms and giving some advice about classroom materials and everything else related to teaching. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Make every class your best class. Bye!